Hi, I'm Trevor, Trevor Strutt, one of the osteopaths at Bridgman Clinic. Um, we're talking about migraine. Uh, migraine is not just a bad headache, it um, can be a uh, sort of headache which will leave you in the dark for a few days. Um, some people get nauseous, dizzy, they can vomit from it. It's, it's not a really nice situation going on. So, um, different sorts of migraines. We can have the head pain, as we spoke about, you can have Vestibular migraine, which um, gives you a free ticket to the Wobbly Club. Um, you can have a hormonal migraine. Come and talk to me. No, I don't want to. Um, you can have abdominal migraine. Um, anyway, with the head migraine we're speaking about now, what causes it? Um, the brain has its own blood supply, and the blood supply is arterial, and the arterial vessels have a muscular um, tone, a muscular wall, which either brings in more blood or less blood, um, irritations to the nerve supply to the blood vessel can cause the blood vessel to dilate and then flood the cranial vault with blood and bang the symptoms of migraine can come on. What causes the irritation to the nerves? We have a big nerve plexus down here, um, the inferior cervical ganglion, another um, big nerve plexus here, the middle cervical ganglion, and up the top here, the superior cervical ganglion. If we see um, irritation to the nerves, uh, then this can come from um, posture, the head being compressed forwards. It can come from um, malalignment within the spine. For example, uh, a rotation around the uh, lower neck can push up the rib, cause irritation. Um, side shifting and movements within the neck, again, more irritation. Or again, trappings of the nerve at the top here. All these sorts of things here can bring on irritation to the blood supply, to the brain, and boom, you've got yourself a migraine. It's not very nice, is it? No, I don't like it.